Hello everyone, today we are going to develop a model regarding the gas pipeline network. I have two wells here, the well number one and well number two. You can see here the temperature and the mass flow and we can lift the pressure as it is since the HISIS will calculate this pressure and you can see the composition you can try to specify the composition you can use the following data for the well number 2 the temperature is 40 centigrade as well but the mass flow is 8000 kg per hour and for the composition you can use this data you can try it in your simulation I also prepare the IG inhibitor stream here because in the next video I will try to demonstrate the addition of IG inhibitor to suppress the high rate that possibly appear or present in our gas pipeline network. In this video, the IG inhibitor is still not added into our gas pipeline network and we will use the pure IG inhibitor here. In the beginning, I also have specified the component list, the same with the composition as I shown before, and also I choose the Peng Robinson fluid package. In the beginning, we can connect our stream to the subflow sheet, and for the outlet, we can choose the two plug from here. And you can see the stream already appear in our subflow sheet. And we can arrange the position of the stream. And we can try to connect respective stream to our pipeline. Then we can connect the gas from the well number 2 and commingle with the well number 1 here in the mixer 100. Subsequently, we can connect the EG inhibitor to the pipe plants as well. But actually, in this video, the EG inhibitor is still not present in our pipeline since we just specify the EG inhibitor for 0.1 kg per hour. So after we connect respective pipe segment and commingle the well number 1 and well number 2, we can specify the pipe dimension in the design and then we can go to the data page and we can choose the actual option here. We can specify the data that's shown in the table approximately 200 mm, the wall thickness is 2 mm. And the length you can specify as shown in the respective table here. And you can choose the mile seal for our pipeline material. And the roughness we can keep it as it is. For the flow correlation, we can choose Tulsa Unified Model with three phase. Because actually the gas, water, and liquid are present in our gas pipeline network or gas pipeline system. Then we can add the heat transfer property. You can choose the estimate heat transfer coefficient here. And you can specify the external medium condition. As you can see here, the temperature is 0 centigrade with ambient medium is water and so on. And you can choose the pipe wall, ensure the selected material is the mild steel because we require the thermal properties data to calculate heat loss that occur during the gas transfer process. 
and after we specify all the data that required here we can go to the main flow sheet and we can specify the constraint for the inlet we can select the flow constraint and for the outlet we can select the pressure constraint it means that we can we will perform the back pressure calculation we want to specify the pressure at the destination so now the pressure required at wellhead and for the temperature we can specify as we specified in the main stream in respective stream for the well number one we can specify 40 centigrade for well number two the same with well number one and for aging inhibitor is 35 centigrade as you can see here the lines are changed to blue which indicates that the calculation already converged and we can see if you want the pressure at the platform is 20 bar we can adjust the pressure of the well number one and for the well number two as you can see here and the EG inhibitor but actually in this video we assume that the EG inhibitor it still not exist in our gas pipeline network. I think that's all brief explanation regarding the gas pipeline network. In the next video, I will try to demonstrate the observation of the hydrate in our gas pipeline network and the effect of the addition of the EG inhibitor to suppress the hydrate that possibly appear or present in our gas pipeline network. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this video is useful, see you in the next video.